Hi, I'm Marna, and I found this adorable little uh, American Girl doll at a garage sale. Yeah, I bought her in a lot. I bought several dolls for, uh, and I made an offer on several dolls. Her hair was a mess, and I washed it. I used cream rinse on it. I got the knots out of it, and then I um, used the curlers I bought for Barbie dolls, and I kind of like it. I debated using soda straws, and I'll show you how to do that another day, but I used this, and it just put some body in her hair. She came nude, and she did not have shoes, so I came up with a couple of hacks that if you found this type of doll at a garage sale or thrift store, you might use. Okay, her little dress, what I did is I took a sock and I cut part of it out. It does not have to be a new sock. I bought these on sale and I'm using them. So what I'm doing is seeing how long do I want the sock. And I'm gonna go just under where it turns. And then I'm gonna measure it down. And I'm gonna give her a little collar with that. So I'm gonna go down to about just above the riding and cut that. Because this, if this slid on, it would be too big. So what I did was, let's see how that print goes. Okay, we're gonna cut it here. And then I measured her arms, how far in I wanted those armholes. And I cut those out. One on each side. One's a little bigger. When you fold over, you always have to work the other one just a little bit. It's not a big deal. You just don't want one way bigger than the other. And then I put it on her. I got a little wide, but it's all right. Now, you could just leave that and have a lot of fold over, but you could trim it. For right now, I'm just gonna leave it and show you that all I did was tie a belt on this doll for closure. And because she's standing in a stand, it really doesn't matter. Uh, you could cut that down to size, finish your edges, add Velcro or snaps, either way. It's just a just a cute little thing, and now she has clothes. I am an adult collector. I bought this doll at a garage sale. This craft that I'm getting ready to do is not for children, nor is it for anyone that does not want to take chances with their American Girl dolls. I get that. But for me, I like these little flip-flops. And what I did was I left the sticky side on the shoe because I know that if I take this off and it's sticky, I can use goop hand cleaner to get that off. But I don't want kids watching this and then putting sticky stuff on their dolls and their parents getting mad at me. So there you go, this is an adult craft. This is electrical tape, plain, simple, black electrical tape. It's sticky, you know me and sticky. I'm folding a piece over in half so that it's not sticky on either side. I'm going to take my little doll's foot and use a pencil, not an ink pen, and draw around her foot with the pencil. You can see that on there. Now when I cut this out, I will cut just a little bit bigger than what you see there so that the sole sticks out a little bit and it looks like a shoe. Uh, again, 
This may not be a craft for children nor the accident prone and oh or the messy and I fall into or the messy. All right, so there's the bottom of your shoe and you stand her on it and you take a piece about oh uh, that's a little over an inch and you cut your strap any length any width you want it that's all I want and you line that up on her foot now this takes four hands so that's why I said not for the messy or the accident prone you want to start on the top so that you have it lined out putting the shoe on the doll fold this up underneath making sure the sole of the shoe stays put wrapping that upward the the sole upward towards the foot and your strap bringing that around now she has shoes that she won't lose let me comb her hair a little bit she got kind of a mess when she fell see that the shoes didn't fall off again not for children and there she is in her little outfit and shoes so here's my little American Girl doll that I paid next to nothing for. And her hair is all fixed. She has a little outfit and shoes. These, um, these little girls you can get to stand up, but they're not real stable. So I took a Barbie uh, stand, just a cheap stand, and I slid the ring all the way down. And that works pretty good for her. So there's three ideas for you if you go to a garage sale or a thrift store and you find a little doll, even an American Girl doll, and uh, she's a mess. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, a comment, be kind about the sticky stuff, and please subscribe. Thanks.